Hello and welcome to Sound and Melodies in this uh, yet another video of our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream your DAW using a very minimal plugin called Rea Stream. So let's go ahead and check it out. Once you go to the website of which I have put the link in the description. It's called Reaper FM, and this is, of course, the plugins from Reaper. So go to this uh, link, and down here you will find download Rea plugs. Okay, and depending on what your DAW is based on 62, uh, 32 bit or 64 bit, download the one that you are using. For example, my system is 64 and my DAW is 64. So I'm going to click here and I've already downloaded. So it just downloads again for me here. And I'll go ahead and open it. Press yes. And I agree. And right here, you can choose whichever plugins you want or you do not want. So for example, I don't need all of these plugins. Of course, you can use these plugins if you like. But there you go. Right here is what we need Rear Stream. And uh, here you can use this for up to 32 channels. And I'm using it only for stereo right now. So I'll go ahead and install this in my destination folder. Now I've already installed it. Once you do this, You'll be set and you need to just restart your DAW or if you haven't started, just start your DAW. And in the control room here, you can insert this as the last plugin in your monitors. So just go ahead there and type Rare stream standalone, or if you don't have full version of uh, Nuendo or Cubase, then you can still put this as a last plugin in your stereo out and go ahead here and add Rare stream standalone. Once you do that, you'll notice some options here. By default, the identifier is set to default, and this is important. Once we put the same plugin in OBS, this will become important. And here, enabled. And what we need is to click on send audio and MIDI IP in local broadcast. Now there is broadcast and local broadcast. In broadcast, you can put your IP, uh, IP address, and uh, which is not necessary if you are just using it in the same computer. So it's local broadcast. And that's it. That's all to do here in the in the DAW. And next we move on to OBS right here. And in OBS, just add an audio input capture. And once you add the audio input capture, just rename it as Rear Stream or whatever name you like. And Go to the properties and select any of the sound cards here or or, or the uh, alternative to sound card like voice meter so something that you are not using at the moment for example nuendo is not using voice meter and nothing else is using voice meter here so you can use a voice meter for rare stream or anything else that you have that you're not using currently so selecting that and OK. And one more thing we need to do is go to filters and add VST2 plugin and select, um, and put the name, any name you like. And here, go ahead and select Rare plugins, Reali, uh, Rare stream uh, standalone right here. I have it right here, so I've already put it there. And it is 
starting to work. Now, as you can see, my microphone is not connected to OBS, but it is now connected from the Nuendo uh, DAW itself. And that's how I'm able to make this live. And for example, let's check out this uh, contact plugin, uh, Joharp Murchunga. And and like that, you can simply play it and you'll have the sound. And by using OBS, of course, and its different settings, you can stream it directly to YouTube or whichever streaming platform you're using. And if you want to check out different settings of how to stream with OBS, just check another video that we have in our channel. Thank you very much for watching this and uh, we'll see you in next video.